All right. What is up, everybody? It is. Uh, it feels kind of like Friday, I guess. It's funny that I even know what day of the week it kind of is. It's Thursday, um, <laughs> April the 9th, but Good Friday is tomorrow, I think. Um, so a lot of people will not be doing anything tomorrow than relaxing. I, I will, I don't know, just find <laughs> other work to do, I suppose. Um, welcome to the live stream. We're live on Inside Participate and on Mr. Isaac's uh, YouTube or, uh, Twitch channel. This is not YouTube, yes. Mike. This is Twitch. No, no, no. It'll be on YouTube after, though. It will be on YouTube after. It'll be on the YouTube channels of both of our um, respective sites right uh, on and a, a happy uh passover to you as well nick uh i do well in theory i celebrate we would usually have a seder with my parents and while i've seen a lot of people doing some interesting zoom seders and things yes. we were not we were not so ambitious um <laughs> but uh we'll probably have some uh chorosis or something very um, nice happy yeah. passover everybody yes 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 yes, yes, yes. oh you did uh, that. that's great um, yeah, I saw people, it was funny, I saw people who had their table set, and I guess now what you need is you need a chair for the Zoom um, computer and a chair for a lunch, <laughs> and, and the door open. The, the technology, the, the world we live in right now is absolutely crazy. Uh, that right. this, is, this, is what we've, this is what we've come to, friends. Yeah. Um, but... You know, it is what it is, and hopefully everyone is healthy and safe and relatively happy, even though it's like Groundhog Day. Everyone is, uh, you know, reliving Monday every day. Yeah, um, Groundhog Day. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna do some make code and code builder stuff today. We are. We are on on Minecraft in in I believe you have Minecraft Education Edition going. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so Code Builder is integrated, like completely beautifully integrated in um, in Education Edition. Uh, it actually exists for Windows 10 Edition as well as an app you can get from the Windows Store. I believe it's called Code Builder for Minecraft. I think it's I think that's what it's still called. Oh, is um, this the thing we were playing around with a couple weeks ago? Oh, you know, we probably were because we were code, trying code, code connect code connection for Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. Because we were trying to get it to work with the realm, only to realize I think it wouldn't work when yeah. you're online in a realm, but it would work, you know, on uh, an independent running, you know, Minecraft in Windows 10, that kind of thing. But uh, but Education Edition, it really it really was started or, or created for Education Edition, and then. They thought, well, gosh, why not make it available to a greater audience? But um, for hey, we've got a uh, Bob Irving here. Um, it but it is beautiful um, in the way it's integrated for Education Edition. It's wonderful for teaching uh, not only block-based code. And Bob, you'll be so excited about this if you. Oh, my audio is breaking up. Is it breaking up for other? It's not people? breaking up for me. Might be you, Bob. Is Mike's breaking up? Just uh, I guess we'll, I'll, I'll just carry on. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, cool. So, um, so anyway, so one of the other cool things which I'll show you is, and this is why I pointed out Bob for a second is Bob is like Mr. Python, and recently uh, Code Builder they they've always had block based code and JavaScript, and recently they ordered, um, added Python, which got me very excited. So anyway, so let's go into it a little bit and. What I want to kind of review ever so slightly is just because it makes sense for understanding the context here too. If you remember, if you've been on our streams the other days, when we talk about things like um, commands and command blocks, um, there are all these, you know, it, it, Minecraft gives you the opportunity to write all these commands and command blocks. So yeah. it's, it's not a huge stretch um, to then understand what's happening with uh, Code Builder because it's basically, you know, taking these same commands and they've created, you know, blocks for about every command you could do, probably, and then expanded because it gives you a little more computer science flexibility to go beyond what you could do with commands and command blocks. It's also but a familiar. It's also a familiar connection for kids who are using Scratch and and any of these other. Um, 
you know, block based coding platforms, you know, Absolutely. you can you can jump into Code Builder in Minecraft. And not only are you using an interface that's pretty familiar to you because you're doing block based coding, but now you're doing it in Minecraft and kids lose right. their minds because they're playing Minecraft. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of win win. Steve and I are going to we. we Two things that are we have ambitions to do. I, I think it would be fun to do a series, uh, a survival Minecraft series, where you it, we've tried to do this a little bit, uh -huh. where you play entirely through coding uh -huh. the game, so you cannot physically like use the your axe like like you know bang on things. You have to do everything by code. Uh, that really would be good. a fun series to watch. Uh, it, it would be would. probably pretty entertaining. It would because, gosh, yeah, we're going to do that. That's and funny. we're also totally writing a book about this at some point. Okay. <laughs> We've talked about that before. You, That's, that, you heard it here, folks. You, you know what we here. should also do? We should also create a course for educators on using Minecraft in the classroom. And we should oh. probably make it free for educators. What do you think about that? Oh, you don't say. <laughs> I think that would be a great idea. So that is totally happening, friends. Uh, if you are on, if you're watching us on the Inside Participate Twitch channel, which you totally should, um, you know, down at the bottom in, in the profile section, there's some links to some of the communities um, from Participate, which is, um, you know, uh, you know, doing a we're, we've built, we've launched a game-based learning community on Participate. Uh, and uh, as part of that community, Steve and I are writing a Minecraft course, a Minecraft in education course. Uh, we've started working on it. It should be out soon. It's going to be a synchronous course. So you're going to do it with us in real time over a period of six weeks. Uh, and we're really excited to launch it sometime in May. So you got to do two things. You got to join the, uh, the community on participate by clicking on that game based learning link. Uh, and you also have to follow us on Twitch on at the inside participate channel. Uh, so that um, you know when we're going live uh, with the streams. Uh, yeah. Super excited about that course. I think it's going to be really, really cool. Me too. And, and uh, while it will be a synchronous course in the fact that we will have live sessions to launch yeah. each week, everything will also be available in an asynchronous like learning management system that'll be really easy to navigate too. So It'll be that kind of thing where join us live because that's when it's a little more fun and interactive, but all the content will still be there. All the activities and everything will still be be, be embedded in the course uh, structure as well. So anyway, I digress or not. Um, so we were totally just talking related. about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So so here's the code builder interface. When actually when I like. Um, using Microsoft Make Code, you have the ability to use Make Code or Tinker. Both are wonderful. Um, I and I shouldn't even say like the reason I like Code Builder is, or my uh, Make Code is because I've been using that primarily. Um, mm -hmm. People who are familiar with Tinker, by all means, it's very robust and exciting what you could do there. The other thing about Make Code that I like right now is that the Make Code sort of environment is available for so many different. Um, you know, it's it's available for the micro bit, which I see Eric is on with us. Eric is going to do a session with us, maybe even next week. We'll talk on using the micro bit and coding. Um, <laughs> the micro bit's a physical computing device uh, that I have somewhere around here, um, where you program and then <clears throat> flash your programs to the device, and then it happens, you know, in the physical world or the physical device. Um, Make Code Arcade, which many of you know, I'm a fan of. That's also in Make Code. Uh, Circuit Playground also allows you to code in Make Code and Minecraft. Um, when it comes to Minecraft, what I love about this, and Mike was touching on it, is you have this like kids are motivated, and and Minecraft is sort of where they live, right? Yeah. Um, so when you take that and now say we can code in this environment, it makes so much sense to the kids. So it it adds a lot of you know relevance to the coding and stuff. So we're gonna do a project here. Um, we'll call this, uh, you know, getting started or whatever. Okay. Oh, they like my title. I got three smiley faces for my title. I never saw that before. Um, so here we go. So this is Code Builder. Um, it does look a lot like Scratch. It, um, it it's really intuitive. I think these are the different categories or what 
what they like to call them in the Microsoft make code world is drawers. So when I open a drawer, this is all my stuff in the drawer. So like here are all I like call my socks and like here are all my t-shirts in the drawer and stuff, okay? So these are the different blocks within this, with this category. So the other nice thing is there's a, um, a search uh, thing as well. So if I want to spawn an animal and I type in spawn, it'll show me everything that has, you know, or at least that it finds based on my search query, which is nice. Um, there's also this advanced section, which we'll get to soon, because there's one thing in here that I think Mike's going to like a lot if he doesn't know about it already. Do you see that, Mike? Yeah, totally. Yes, okay. I'm, I knew it was there. Yeah, uh, I think I think I like what we do better because it's more yes, yes, fun. Yes. But but um, we should definitely build a sphere. And we will this and session and, and see what that looks like yeah and, and another thing compare is, it compare it to the to to our epic spheres yes uh, that we've it'll, been be, it'll be equally epic it'll just be different in the way it's constructed so mm -hmm. and this dude here this guy or gal is like a I, I think that the agent looks like a a robot monkey um and i love the agent my favorite character um in minecraft i believe uh, i do love npcs also but um but the agent's pretty awesome or as Mike would say, what would be the word, Mike? Rad, totally rad. rad. Totally rad. Um, so I'm going to start here a little bit with um, anybody, and I know if, if Bob's watching, um, he's probably a fan of, of Logo, right? So Logo, this brings me back to like the glory days of, of programming, where I could, and I'll even use some Logo-like um, <clears throat> commands. So I can make a chat command that when I type FD, my agent's going to move forward by one, OK? So I type FD, boom, and there goes my agent, OK? The, the one in this case is is one block, One correct? block, yeah, yeah, yeah. That so is the I, unit of measure for the agent. Yes, one, two, three, five. And he, he's pretty quick. He's quick, and he got caught up there a little bit. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna stay with ones for now, just to, I'm really just making a remote control for my agent at the moment, just so you can see how, now in logo, it's a turtle, but this is gonna kind of do essentially the same thing. Now, another nice thing is I can duplicate blocks of code. So now I'm gonna say, well, let's go back here and why don't we make it so that I can also make him go back and change this to back by one. Now these again, FD and BK, I could call these anything. They're kind of like subroutines or functions. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to now go BK and BK and FD. Okay, pretty nifty. And now we're gonna go, we're gonna do things a little bit different here. I'm gonna duplicate again. We're gonna now get into our LT. Anybody know what LT is gonna be for? Right. <laughs> Mike, I'm pretty smart, guys. Left turn. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, and then how about RT, Mike? Yeah, that'll be right. Really <laughs> All right, here we go. So now, um, RT, FD, RT, FD, etc. Right? Got it. So that's all fun and good. Um, so that's just to start to show you how like the agent works. Another nice thing to do for the agent or, or to have for the agent is something where it teleports to me because a lot of times you want the agent to come back to you. So I'm gonna do TP and have the agent teleport to player. Okay, so this is all just basic stuff. All I did was program the agent to move around kind of so I could control the agent a little bit. Um, so now that's, that's a start there, right? Now we're gonna go into, um, a couple like some commands that you know we want to let's say have a chicken spawned in the world yes. so i'm going to go to mobs and chicken now right now my chicken and let's see if the chat can help us out here where will the chicken spawn based on what i just did let's see we need interaction here how about it, chat? Where's the chicken going to spawn? I bet Eric knows. Eric, 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 knows. Knows. Eric hey, no Brad pressure, is buddy. Too. You guys got to know this. Brad. Yeah, let's see. Brad. Okay, this is uh 10 above you. Very good, the Brad. Only, the only... Oh, look at that. Go ahead. 
The only what? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. So now, the uh, let's explain why. So this little squiggly or tilde means relative to where I am. So the zero means based on my X, I'm not moving. Based on my Y, or I mean, I'm not, it's going to be right where I am on my X. It's going to be 10 blocks relative to me. So 10 blocks above me and zero on the Z. I could make this, you know, whatever. Now I'm going to, it's getting dark in here. Chicken. And there's that chicken that Brad, oh, and it got stuck in the tree. <laughs> it landed on the tree. Like, woohoo. Okay, cool. All right, so that's that's all good stuff, right? Now, um, while but, we're at it, though, yep. One oh, chicken's yeah. pretty boring. Yeah, one chicken's boring. Um, it, but before we do the, the get past the boring chicken part, oh. let's also, while we're at it, make our own commands for, like, day. <sighs> okay? Because, <gasps> again, the command exists, right? Time, set, day. So it also exists here. So time, set, day. So we're going to... So one chicken's boring. One chicken at night's not necessarily well. Yeah, all right. but anyways, there it is. Day. So I made my own command for day. Now, yeah. what were you saying, Mike, about one chicken? One chicken's really boring. So what would be better than one chicken, Mike? A hundred. A hundred. Okay. Does the chat agree? I don't care what the chat says. Okay. <laughs> so the the beauty of this is that now we're talking about computer science, really, not just a hundred chickens, but we're talking about how we can get 100 chickens in a computer science-y way. So loops are a very basic computer science construct. One of the first things we can teach, right? Great way to teach it here is to get rid of the only one boring chicken and make it the 100 chickens, OK? So now they're all still going to start over there. So let's see. And the interesting thing about this also is it's relative to where I'm standing. Yes. So if I go chicken, yes. So there are my chickens. Whoa! And we should end right there, Mike, because that's the grand finale. Or should we? Do oh, it's next? over. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> so um, enjoy your chickens. You yeah, know what's so even more fun? What is um, then blowing up the chickens? Oh, blowing up the chickens. Or before we blow up the chickens, and we'll do that. But in a similar vein. And I think we're going off off the rails here a little bit, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna now. This is have, what I do. I, I I'm gonna I, have a hundred. I'm gonna have a hundred pigs spawn, right? And this will be oh, interesting. Perfect. Now, here's a good question, though. Uh -huh. I'm having pigs spawn, right? So should I type in pig, Mike? Sure. Okay, let's try it. Pig. Nothing. It won't work. No, why not? Are you are you really asking me? Uh, yeah, yeah, just for fun. Because you need to change the command. Well, or right, what's the 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 function? You need to write pig chicken? there. Yeah, instead of I, or, I mean, no, I don't have to write pig there. I can keep it as chicken. Oh well, you could write chicken right now, yeah. and it would spawn pigs. Right, but it's just good uh -huh. to understand that what people often do as they're doing this stuff is they forget that we have to be very specific in our directions to the computer. So anyway, now there we go, and okay. So that that's all right. These we have a lot of pigs now, but but what happens if we do this, Mike? Oh, that, that, those pigs look great. Hundred yeah, pigs nice. falling from the sky. What if we do this, or how about chat? How about the chat? I like the chat. Oh, bye, get grumps. With, um, what are you doing see. now? Uh, well, I, I did this, and I wanted to know what will happen now when I have the pigs spawn from 20 above. Oh. Anybody? Well, that makes it 20 higher. All right, let's see then. I think you're probably right, but. Oh, they'll die because it's too far. Yeah. The fall damage doesn't bode well for pigs. For chickens, it's interesting. That's chickens. really not nice. No, no, no. But um, I always like to throw in the disclaimer: no, no pigs were hurt in this uh, experiment. No real pigs were hurt in this experiment. But we do have some pork now. Um, a lot of it actually. So okay. So we're gonna while we're at it, then we're gonna um, do this for a second. <laughs> that is an efficient method of farming pork. So now we. Oh, but you wanted to blow up chickens, I think. Or yeah, right. 
So we'll, we'll do that. No, you know what we'll do? All right, here, we'll, here's what we'll do. Um, we're going to now use the, um, the fill command. Okay, so we're going to now build a large structure and we'll call it, um, I don't know, how about a cube? And we're going to We're going to do it the way I want to do it. Call it boom. 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 Okay. And we're going to use blocks. And we're yes. going to fill with what type of blocks would go boom, Mike? TNT. TNT. All right. And this again. Now, here's the thing. Right now, we're talking still relative um, coordinates. We can use absolute coordinates, and we'll, we'll get into that in a minute as well. But let's say we do this. All right, now, <clears throat> what do you think this is going to create? I always love this. It's a little bit of a trick. A cube that's going to start where? Where you are. Oh, it's going to be five in the air, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody got that? And it's going to be hollow. Okay, I mean, we don't have to make it hollow. It'll go boom. We shouldn't it'll, make it hollow. it'll go boomer if we don't make it hollow. Yes, that's so right. We're gonna call it replace, I guess. Um, or I wonder what keep is a weird thing to say, but okay. Um, so now, what's gonna happen when I type in boom, Mike? You're gonna make a, a cube in the air of TNT. Yeah, I am. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it's like. Every YouTuber or whatever, right? Must, uh, <laughs> so now, now you gotta. Hey, listen, listen. If you want the followers, you gotta pander right, a little. That's right. You gotta, gotta pander a little. Gotta, gotta, gotta the give follow. the people what they want. Give the people what they want. All right. So, um, should I do this then, Mike? Oh, baby. There we go. Nice. <laughs> uh that never never cool. stops being entertaining and you know what was cool the other day you remember what we did with the sphere the other day or the, in the water and we did it wasn't tnt though oh it was the ender dragon and remember the ender oh dragon? yeah <laughs> ender, dragon. ender dragons are messed up people in the overall yeah. it blew up a part of the water but the it didn't like then fill back in so it was no because like it destroys the blocks the actual like, that, block space i wonder if that would happen should we try that with tnt right in the water just to see Do i mean it. we're experiment science right yeah 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 i'm here for it okay, let's try it all right so this time we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna have it be how about this even we're gonna go negative five to five so it's still gonna be a cube 10 by 10 half in it's the water going, and half out of the half, water half in the water half out of the water okay boom and that worked really well let's try it again boom all right there we go uh oh oh, oh you're I don't like in this. it oh and and oh that, phew, how to get out of it that easy but all right we're glad now ready yeah yeah totally ready I'm interested to see if this really does the same thing. Me too, Steve. Uh, nope. What did you do? Well, it's still it 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 um it seems to still well kind of look at that kind of but it's still filled in parts of it. The flow. Yeah, no, it's still filled in. Yeah, because so, of the flow. The Ender Dragon deal? actually like voids the blocks. Right, and I don't know. I, that's very interesting to me. Like, I wonder if. Uh, but anyway, there we go. You can you spawn an Ender Dragon in Code Builder? That is a great question, isn't it? <laughs> it seems like the next logical well, question God. here. <laughs> what about? All right, so here's that's a good point. So when I go in here, these are animals, oh, right? Yes. But, yep. but but there's also um, spawn. Wait wait wait. The funny thing is, there definitely is. Um, spawn monster. Interesting. Do we want 100 ender dragons? Oh my god. I guess we do. That'd be like... Maybe. Ender Let's Vindicator. See. Ooh, Guardian. Vex. Nasty. Drowned. I know it's in here. 
should be. If not, then I want my money Evoker. back. What the heck? It, I know it's got to be. How could it not be in here? If it's not, that's weird. Well, can these can these under um, underworld um, mobs live in the overworld? Um, when you spawn them, you know, well, they do in when we're using um, regular code in code in, in you know command blocks. Oh oh oh! Those are, so there's yeah. some gas, but they blow up too, don't they? Maybe not. No, so, they but, shoot at you. Oh my god! If you got out of creative right now, oh right, they would oh, all well, like. But I'm stronger than them. So, but now, now you got me thinking because I don't know why Ender Dragon wouldn't be in here. Let's see. If it's not, then I, I have to believe there's probably a way that we can still do it. And that's got me thinking. You got to use the command code. That's what I'm, as yeah, a right? A block. Well, actually, that's interesting. All right. That's a great excuse to do that, right? So <laughs> we're going to go, we're going to go into here. Now, this is going to be in JavaScript. Oh. Okay. So here we have gassed. Now, this will be great if it works. Um, it seems like it likes it in capitals, but it doesn't. I don't think it's going to like that per se. Um, all right, we got to figure this out because it doesn't like it as. Hmm. Oh, now I'm. Now I'm. It's still. Now. It still made it um, green though. No, well, yes. I kind of, but it says cannot find. Let's try oh, okay. it though. Let's try it. Oops. It says oops. It doesn't like it at all. No. All right. So it doesn't like that. But now, what I believe is, I believe there's somewhere like, hmm. I want to believe that you could enter your own code. And I think there is a way to do something like that. You just got to wonder if the Ender Dragon is, well, it should be in like the actual oh, game because I was always under the impression that you could play like a full, that you could play like a full survival mode game of Minecraft in Education Edition. Yeah, but, and but there remember, is like a, there is a, a nether in, in Minecraft. So there should yeah. be an end. And if yeah. there's an end, then there should be an Ender Dragon. I do agree. What I think is, I think there's somewhere though that we could like enter, execute like another kind of like code that we just decide, hey, I want it to do something that's a code block or that's not recognizing right now. So like, but I'm not seeing it right now. All right, that's gonna be our homework to figure out like how do you add a code that's not in here? Like there's functions here, which makes me think I could make a function Let's try, hmm, but I don't think it's going to, yeah, let's see. Now, I, um, oh, wait a minute. How do you spawn an ender dragon? I'm literally looking at a video that says, how do you spawn an ender dragon in Minecraft Education Edition? Oh, that's a PE. Yeah, I don't know if you can. What I'm saying is, I think there is a way to, in other words, to execute code, like to have it be whatever code I type, you know, that I, implement but um hmm. all right that, let's see i'm just surprised that it's not in here as like why wouldn't it be but okay i'll i'll, I'll let go of that for a moment so oh, um can you do it in the commands though because we know what the command course. is well, sort of i can like can you slash spawn summon summon ender dragon See, so like um ah, see and the code's there oh so we know we do that but but that's but i'm just, i'm perplexed because i believe there's a way like like there should be a way to just execute any like line of code now let me try something else for a second because it makes me think so there was javascript right i don't think it'll make a difference with python but let's go into python for a second just to see so here's python now here's the let's see on player chat um Here's the mob gas, the monster gas. It's so funny, it does not want. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, uh, that's interesting. 
Yeah, we're going to figure that, that that I'm going to look at later because I do believe there's a way. Um... So it's in the chat command, like it's in the command line commands, but it's not in the blocks and it's not yeah. in the code. But which is why I do think there is something in here that I'm missing. And if anybody in the chat knows where it is, I do believe there's a way for me to like essentially execute code. Like, let's see. Let's see. Execute. See this like execute say hi. Here we go. Here we go. What is do do enter crystal with repeat command block? No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, command block. Execute. Let me try that again. Execute. This is where I think it would. I don't know where I put it though. Let's see. Um, I want to put it like here. Where's the so? Let's forget about this for a second. Um, player execute. All right, here we go. Watch this. I I am feeling kind of good about this. Um, oh, are you going to do the command here? Sun, Ender Dragon. <laughs> so now in this theory, cheating. Be, but on chat, why did I lose my on chat thing? On chat chicken, we messed something weird up. Like, so I think it's on chat. Why does it say seven? On chat. Oh, oh I think it's below. Player on chat chicken. Yeah, but let's. So it should be down here, we think, right? So I'm going to do this. Um, where was the repeat? All right, this is what we want. This, I think. Um, let's try that. OK, well, I'm not feeling it right now, though, because of all this nonsense. But maybe we have to get rid of this. Ooh. So maybe. <laughs> I don't know. What's this on chat 7? I don't like that. It says the. It's. I think it's just the order in which they're. Like, but does go on it chat? Says on chat. On chat. On chat two. On chat but three. Look at these. On chat these, don't, these say on chat. On five. chat. On chat well, but two. It's in the. It's in the brackets there. For the oh, for the other ones. On chat this. six. On chat five. On chat four. All right. Wait. Here we're gonna go back to block code for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Discard and go to blocks. Okay. So we're gonna go to execute. Um, here we go. Ready, Mike? Um, doesn't even have to be, I think it could be this one even. So we're going to go to repeat a hundred times, execute, um, summon, ender, dragon. If this works, then it means that you could always type in anything that's a, com a command otherwise. So let's say. No, come on. Oh, man. This is going to be hectic. All right, not quite. Oh, make it day first. Make it day first. Oh, wait, but look, it did something there. Wait, all right, well. OK, so it did something weird here. It, it added these extra quotes in here. So let's forget this for a second. Summon Ender Dragon. Now it still has the quote in there. It's weird how it like looks like there's an extra all right, let's try that. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, what did you do? Oh, look, and it did what we wanted it to do, sort of. But it not did. really. I guess it also, it also oh, yeah, crashed your Minecraft. <clears throat> Yeah, it kind of did a little bit. Um, watch, wait. <laughs> oh, my All God. Right. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't do that on the realm, the participate realm. But I just and I just killed them too. And look oh, at me, man. I'm like the power that you will, will. folks. The world, the world is round. Oh my god! Right here. But I, I killed you them. Why is it? Oh, you know what's happening though? <laughs> there's still some coming. That like in other words, the hundred didn't come out yet. <laughs> All right, now I think we're back. Oof. Man. Oh man. Hectic. I'm so high up. They, they kept pushing me higher and higher. All right. Did the chat enjoy that? I, I'd like to hope I hope that there's some oh, kind of man. brouhaha there. Um so Brad Chef was like, hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's right, Brad. So it was summoning them one at a time, so it took a little while. Okay. So there you go. And um 
And Zell Knight just said he found an easy way to do the spear. So let's go to the spear because that's our that's sort of our trademark, right, Mike? Yeah. So we're gonna do a spear and spear. And we're gonna now go down to advanced or shapes. Yeah, advanced and shapes and sphere is here. Sphere is here. <laughs> um, we're gonna make the, let's say we want it to start 50. It, so it's gonna start 50 above us and the radius is gonna be 40, you think? That's a big so sphere. So it'll be like, yeah. yeah. And then what do we wanna make it out of? Oh, uh, what do we wanna make it out of? Um, so I, you know, I'm, I'm always partial to the glass spheres, but but yeah, we build a, we too. do build a lot of them. Yeah, um, if, um, bedrock a bedrock sp sphere is always really cool because they're really, you know, they're black, All and right. it's and it looks really Wait, neat. You mean bedrock? I mean um, obsidian. Well, I mean bedrock is pretty black too. Okay, got it. Um, oh we my goodness, you off. could oh you could do uh, chat. That's a good one. You could build a bedrock sphere. And then spawn withers in it, and it would be like, you know, your own personal yeah. little hell sphere. <laughs> okay, we will do that. Um, <laughs> so now this is what's interesting too about it. In this, so look at all those things. That, all right, so sphere. Whoops, sphere. Now you look up in the air, and there it is. See it building line by line. Or block by block, really. Check that out. That's going to take a while. Look at that. It's doing, you know, each layer. Get a little closer so you can see the agent, because the agent should be up there, should it not? I don't think so, because it's not the agent building the sphere, which is weird. It would be cooler if it was, but it's so, not. So stop moving fact, around for a second. Let's, uh, yeah. There it goes. So it's, when it makes a hollow sphere, it doesn't make it one block hollow oh maybe it will yeah it's kind of weird right because there it looks like it's kind of thick around. but it's the end it's like the end of yeah. it yeah, yeah yeah see how now it's already getting hollower it's getting hollower <laughs> so we'll have to come back to this in about two hours or something <laughs> it's like it's 3d printing yeah it's three we have our own 3D That's, uh, we only have that's that's the speed of a 3D printer right there. Yep, yep, yep. Looks cool though. I yes. dig it. That's that's a cool uh and then let's look at it from this side. Yeah, so it'll it'll just keep building out layers and in uh yep. two hours we'll have a bedrock sphere. Well it'll be less than two hours, but interesting. Super interesting. I'm wondering if I just lost Mr. Isaacs because his screen has frozen and my screen for him is frozen. I'm wondering if the chat can still see me. That's very funny. Steven, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I hear you, but his is frozen. Oh, Steve. My problem is I don't have Minecraft Education Edition loaded on my computer right now because I bought a new computer. I bought a new computer, everybody. Yeah, see, he just left. That's pretty exciting. I, I bought a new computer, and I'm still installing everything, including Minecraft Education Edition, which I hadn't installed yet. Uh, so we are flying on the seat of our pants. Mr. Isaacs is coming back. I am very quickly downloading Minecraft Education Edition because now I want to build uh, Spawn 100. I bet you my computer, my new computer now, could handle 100 Ender Dragons. Um, I'm tempted to do it in my own computer. That would be fun. So here we go. I'm installing Minecraft. Mr. Isaacs is coming back. Is anyone else playing Minecraft Education Edition right now? Is anyone else following along? Because that would be sweet, too. Hopefully, there's people actually coding. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> so 
my computer just um, started, it just said shutting, computer shutting down. I, I want to think that I crashed it with the Minecraft stuff, but there's also a distinct possibility that my toe hit the power button. But um, if, if it's all for the professionalism of the stream, we can say that the, uh, that it was the, the uh, um, let's go back into education edition. <clears throat> you know, good stuff here on the stream. Yeah, buddy. I, 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 I uh, stalled. Yeah. Like a professional, sort good, of. Good, good. What you did. But you I did mention that he wasn't there. So, <laughs> like, the first rule of stalling is to not let people, you know, know that you're stalling. Oh, no. So you I kind of failed at that. But, um, Oh, I think it's all right. I we're, didn't, we're transparent it, here. Yeah, it's. I didn't have. I don't have Minecraft Education Edition installed on my computer yet. All right, let's see. That's okay. We're going back. I'll be there in a moment. In game. Anyway, so I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do right. it. That would have been seamless, right? You would have just. Nobody would have known. I was Flip to gone. my screen and like yep. carry on. I. Right, uh, my new. I was the... saying my new computer could probably do. Uh, could probably do the uh, hundred ender hundred ender dragons. Yeah, let's see application window. I'm just waiting for it to show. Up. Uh, there we go. Okay, I think I'm back sharing. All right, let's see what happened here. And we should be back. We should have the code still for everything. It might take a second. Any questions in the chat or anybody no, coming up with interesting just, thoughts? Everyone's just enjoying our, you know, our unique brand of edutainment. <laughs> it's funny. Let's see. We did lose all our viewers, though. <laughs> did we? I didn't stall very effectively. Apparently. Uh, they all left. They just left like that. Well, all our all the cool people stayed. Keeler's okay, Keeler's awesome. still here. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, all right, so there we go. So there's our code again. Now, where were we? So what? So we got our. I wonder if the sphere is still going. Probably not. Yeah. So the sphere is. It's there. Did it stop? It stop. It did. It did. Oh, so let's no. be smarter about it anyway. Let's make it like. <laughs> let's make 20. it a little bit smaller. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start it. Oh no, it started at. Yeah, started at twenty, and make it just a radius of ten. And there we go. So we're gonna start that again. Let's see. And it's relative to where I am. So I just came up in the air. So it's gonna be happening in theory above me, but wait. Let's see if it's, oh, there it is. See, that one will be faster, much faster. So that's kind of cool. Now, uh, you know what is interesting? I'm gonna try something because while the sphere is building, I wonder what will happen if I, let's say we try to duplicate this and do, well, actually, yeah, and do not a sphere, do um, whatever, a cube or something. And oh, that still wants to be a sphere, though. We'll go to block. Yeah, because that, that, that sphere bit is baked right into that block, I, right? I wonder how much, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to fill this one with, we'll go with our glass just for a minute. I just want to test something. And whoops. So in a test, if we make the cube out of glass. Favorite thing to do is code text out of blocks. Um, and make this one go from, let's just say, you know, whatever, uh, from, make this one a little higher in the air just for fun. Code. And we'll make it uh, 10 by 10 by 10. This one should happen like immediately, I think. But what I want to see is if it, if the sphere will keep going once I enter this like different code in. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if the where's the sphere? The sphere is see what happened, I think. I think the sphere stops when you do something else. Cause my but the funny thing is I don't even see where my <laughs> your cube. Oops. There. So is the cube even building? Let's try the cube again, but right where I am. Okay, so we'll go back to this and see if the cube. Stop if you go back in the code builder. So there's the cube, and that happens immediately as a cube. But the sphere 
did seem to stop. So I wonder if we'll try it again and see if, <clears throat> oops, not that. Okay, now there's the spear lips. So in theory, I think it had, we have to let it play out for some reason, which I don't fully understand, but that's what it seems like. But you see how with Code Builder, one of the neat things is you could um, have the agent or, or, or whatever, a Code Builder, build structures for you very efficiently, very quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to assume, yes, that would finish if we stuck around. What I want to show you also, though, is some things about getting a little deeper into coding where we, let's say we want our, if we were in survival. So this is what's going to happen when we start playing in survival, Mike. Yeah. We should go into survival. Um, game mode survival okay now <clears throat> i'm going to clear my inventory and now i'm going to um tell my agent to teleport to me okay so there's my agent right now i want to start mining with my agent okay so i need to then start thinking about that from a coding standpoint so when i go yeah. into code builder again and i'm going to move a lot of this over so i have room to just uh so we can focus on what we're doing here Get rid of these that we're not using. You you code like my grade fours code. Just throw things around. Ah, uh, I know. I'm sure you love it. Um, no. So we're gonna do <laughs> mine. <laughs> Mike's having a little. He's, he's his blood pressure is going up. Um, so we're gonna mine, and now we're gonna tell our agent to do a number of things. Okay. So we're gonna tell our agent. Let's just say for starters, we want the agent to move forward, but we want it to, let's say, um, we're gonna use conditional statements. If, 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 if what? If there's no block in front, we want these, um, uh, look for detect. Okay, if agent detects a block forward, then it should, let's say, destroy the block. Okay, does that make sense? Destroy yes. forward. So if the agent has a block in front of it, destroy forward, else move forward by one, okay? And after it does destroy any block it's gonna destroy, we want it to collect all the blocks, okay? Because it's gonna collect these for us. So we're just starting real simple. It's gonna, and then here's the thing. If it detects forward, destroy, otherwise move forward. Um, and now, let's see if this works the way we think it should. Because in theory, it should. Okay. So it's only doing it once, right? So that's where we might get into, <clears throat> again, back to loops. And let's say we do a forever loop. Well, not forever. Let's say we want him to do this. Um, we want him, the agent, to check do this, you know, move 100, basically check for the 100 and, and destroy and collect and then move forward, whatever. So now when I type in mine, it's funny, sometimes it makes me type in the command twice. So here's our agent. Now it keeps going while there's nothing in its way. And watch this, wait for it, wait for it. Now it's breaking the blocks when there is something in its way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be collecting. Leave me alone, would you? But it, the other, oh, it, so the, the interesting thing is, I was thinking I was supposed to collect them. Well, not me, but but the agent. Agent has its own inventory. Agent has its own inventory. Okay. So now, what we really want the agent to do is continue to go down and 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 mine in the ground for us, right? So let's think about this for a second, Mike. So we'll still do this whole loop, let's say, 100 times. But if the agent detects um, something forward, destroy forward, um, collect all, let's see. And then, hmm, maybe we should, if, let's see, we want it to, how do we want to do this so that it then moves, starts going down also? Um, let's try it this way for a second without worrying about the conditional statement. We're going to have the agent destroy forward, collect all. If there's nothing forward, it won't really matter, I think, and then move forward. Then we want it to destroy 
down and move down and still collect all. We could duplicate this here or, or whatever. So in, in theory right now, what are we telling it to do? It's going to destroy forward. Um, it actually should move before it collects. Move forward, collect, destroy down, move down, collect. Then in theory, it's going to keep doing this, right? A hundred times. Yeah. Let's just try it. So there it is. Luckily, it's not afraid of water. I am, though. I'm going to go into. Now, what's funny about this is that it's it's uh, one. It's only one block wide in your two yes, blocks yes, tall. Yes, yes. So that's you can't actually annoying. follow it down there. Correct. That was one of the funny things that we... Uh, that always bugs me. So I always end up doing things like having it <clears throat> destroyed forward and down or something like that. So it, 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 it works. Yeah, it have actually, to, you have to destroy forward. And what I should also do is at the end of this whole thing, I should really have the agent come back to me. So now it's going to repeat this 100 times. Now, interestingly... If there's nothing in front of it, I think it's still going to move forward. Um, you know, it'll destroy forward, like it'll pretend to destroy, but there's nothing there, and then it will still move forward. So I'm going to now do my TP. Whoops. TP. And here's my agent. Yeah. And this is what it collected for me in that little round. Nice little haul. Okay. Nice little haul. Yeah. But I mean, gosh, we would like more. We want diamonds and stuff, right? So with that, it would be get, so cool if like the very first thing you did was do a tunnel, one tunnel and boom, hit diamonds on the first try. <laughs> right. And be you like, got, you hit yeah. the jackpot. It'd I mean, be all luck. To, but That's where we get into things like when you think about Minecraft too, like right now I am, and I'll use this as a command, um, uh, slash game rule show coordinates true. You can do this in the settings also, but I kind of were being cool here with commands. So right now I'm at, um, the agent is at 72 height. I'm at 69. I would have to get him down to like the around 10 to 12 to find diamonds in the Y coordinate. So you see where it's 894, 69, 2700. We'd have to be down by like, it could be 894, 12, and then 2700. And you're at least in the right range for, for diamonds and different ores are, are more found in different areas in the game. So now that's, that's the... Um, that's the the part about mining. We could also have the agent um, build for us. So that's going to be a little bit of mining. Why don't we do this one? I'm going to do just a real simple one just to illustrate the point. So we're going to do tower. OK. And the agent is going to uh, move up. And then it's going to place a block down. Now, and then we're going to do that 100 times. So we have to wrap up a few minutes early this morning. OK. Um, but this we wanted to, uh, sorry, what? I was going to say, this will be a, a good place-ish to end. So let me just start this yeah. tower going, and then and then we'll talk. So right now, my agent, it should be cobblestone because that's what's um, there, but let's see if that works. So what did I call it? Did I call it tower? No, I meant to. Or did I call it build? Nope, maybe. Nope. There we go. Okay, now you can talk, Mike. Dun, 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 dun. How high is he going to build that? 100. Nice. Yeah, and of course we could go crazy. So if you think about, I mean, our roller coaster will give us grief because we're not in the right environment to use code builder. But if we were and we wanted to build our like sort of stairway to go way up high for the roller coaster, we could totally do that. So like in other words, um, what I could have done is move up one place down, move uh, forward one place down. And now watch this. Okay. Yeah, it'll make some stairs. Yep. There they are. Look at them go. So, friends, um, 
got to plug a couple things before we head out. Uh, the first thing you, if you're following, if you've been watching on the inside participate channel, uh, you've seen uh, a little bit of a plug for the gone home game study. It starts today at three o'clock, uh, gone home. Is it still free on the Epic game store today? Uh, it should be until 11 AM. And I don't know if that's 11 AM Eastern or Pacific. Okay. So you, if you want to participate in the gone home game study, go get gone home on the Epic game store, uh, like literally right now, um, follow the, the discussion by going to the game based learning community, uh, on participate, uh, the, uh, our friend, Paul Darvasi, Dr. Paul Darvasi, uh, teed up the discussion for us, uh, yesterday and we're, we're excited to play gone home. Um, we will share that next week. We're really excited to have one of the developers of Gone Home is going to join us on the stream as well. Uh, so on the 16th, so we're doing a series of of uh, of Twitch streams, and then the discussion is happening on Participate. So join us there. Um, we will see everybody uh, later. I hope everyone has a fabulous day. Enjoy I your uh, enjoy your whatever day this is Thursday. Yeah, do go to the Epic Game Store. Download. Yeah. Um, uh, gone home and also epic games i don't know if you like i mean that's where fortnite is but for every week they're giving away like one to four different like legit retail games so i mean i've been growing my library like crazy just by grabbing the free games whether or not i ever get to play them ah gone home is during the afternoon event yes wrenchy 3 p.m eastern yep. noon for you on the west coast and brad scheffler just bought it you have to buy it for free um, so awesome. So install it, have it ready. We're going to be playing. Mike's going to be, um, I'm the guinea pig the game as a guinea pig for the first time. Um, <laughs> Reggie says, you just had to say Paul D we had, her That's Paul right. Zavazzi. Cool. We're, we're, we, we've had a couple of conversations with Paul, talked to him on the phone yesterday. We're pumped. It's going to be so fun. Yes. All right, everybody. We got to go. We'll see you later. All right. We'll see Bye -bye. you this afternoon. Bye everyone.